caves down there. I don't do football personally. Okay, well, the good news, the good news is that uh, although I busted the clutch, the bite point is so far out, if I just pull it in, it's got a bit of leverage, I can engage gear, so I could be able to get out of this valley, it's probably going to take about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, back to the big town, I came through and had a coffee. I'm not sure, well, you know, I'll go to Garrett see they got one. I could probably complete it with a broken one, to be fair. We'll see. Oh uh, mate, most of this is easy. There's one up, steep up coming up. The rest of it's not too bad. But what was behind me, up there? Uh, nah, not a chance. Avoid, avoid. Okay, uh, I'm now back from the mountain. I can still engage gear with it, but I'll show you how bad the problem is. You can still engage, just, but it's really pain in the backside. Anyway, I've got a mechanics just taking a look at it and then he just drove off again. And um, I guess he's gonna get a new one or something, make it work. <sighs> Might be a hotel tonight. Well, he, he took all the bits and he, he drove off because he brought a new lever but it was too thick so he took it all apart and uh, he's probably going back to his workshop and he's going to make it fit so we'll see if a bit of grinder work and what have you okay the bike's all fixed new clutch it's all off See, we're in uh, Tinjir, Tinjir. Um, and I've checked into a hotel. Yeah, I know, I know I said I'd do all that wild camping, but I genuinely was gonna do at least one evening um, in a hotel. And it just happens to be this evening because the day didn't quite go as I planned. And it's a bit difficult to wild camp in the, the main roads that I've been on. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So reflecting on today, where did it all go wrong? Well, I underestimated the bike. No, that's wrong, I overestimated the bike. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, what a long day. No, I completely overestimated it. Uh, at the very end, it was getting really steep. I managed, I've just checked on the map, about 20, no, sorry, 30 kilometers up that rough track. And um, I'd already passed the last bit of civilization quite a few miles back. So 30 kilometers, got really steep, first gear, and it was struggling and I don't know what happened. One minute I was upright, the next minute I was on the floor. So now I'm gonna go down, have a drink, get some food, and maybe I might be joined by two others. Maybe not, who knows, we'll see, okay. Well, getting ready to set off. Feeling a bit rough this morning, won't I? Not really in the mood for today, but gotta do it.
I, I don't do football personally. No, 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 no. No gear. I think they know how to ride a motorbike. No, no, no gear. I think they know how to ride a motorbike. Oh dear. End of a very long day. Um, I booked into another hotel. I was, it's quite a nice one. You may think, that's my single bed. You'll be wrong. I have a desk. I have a guest bed. I have nuts and fruit. I come through here. Yes, there we have a double. Here we have the luxury bathroom. Oh, I think we've got a shower as well. Oh yeah, check that out. But it wasn't cheap. It all come, comes at a price, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to tell you. It's a bit expensive. Um, so you might have seen, I, I bumped into some lads on the way here. And uh, I thought I'd tag along. And uh, they found this place. We did come in. We looked at the prices. And we thought we were going to go somewhere else. But um, we realised everywhere was quite expensive here. Where am I? Well, I, I'm here. I can't remember how to pronounce it. What I've realised is um, you can't go anywhere near as far as you want to go. You just can't. Uh, uphill is just so slow. Don't underestimate, overestimate, underestimate the bikes. They're terrible. They're good fun, but they're terrible. So the plan, and the guys have got the same plan as me, is get some mileage out of the way now, get closer to the finish line. And in the last few days, we slow down a little bit because we've still got to get over the, the high Atlas Mountains yet, the high bit. And these bikes are so slow. I've said that already, haven't I? I know, I'm shattered. It's quarter past seven. Okay, I'll catch you in the morning unless something interesting happens tonight. Probably won't. It's very early. I thought I'd come out and uh, get the sunrise. Well, mostly because I couldn't sleep. <laughs> look at the colour of my face, look. Wow. right in front of me. A little owl. How cute was that? Ooh. There he goes, look. There's the owl. Did you see him? pressures and all the oils. Right. So now that the bikes were roadworthy, well at least for the next five minutes, we headed back to the main town, back to the main junction. Paddy, Carl and uh, George had all decided to go to the film studio just up the road. Now apparently there's all kinds of sets still there from many films uh, over the last couple of decades all quite interesting but i didn't want to cramp their style and uh, i thought i'll give them some space you know so uh, i headed out on my own to forge my own path through uh, the wonders of morocco and that's exactly what i did oh my god look at the size of that thing oh, it's dangerous. Ah, so this is what often happens when you got your glasses on you got gloves that can't operate your phone to see the map you missed your turning. It was about 15 minutes that way. I've got to turn around, go back. And I'm not, I don't want to go on this main road. I'm going to go a nice road that goes around through a valley. Let's give it a go.
now my first challenge, if you look up there, switchbacks, look at that. See, got to go down here, right up to the top. It's going to be first gear all the way. Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> Made it up, first gear on the bends down there, but we did it. Check it out. Mind you, still got to get around that bend yet. Wow. Well, if I can do this, I can do the, the big passes. It's like there's houses in the caves down there, look. You know that? I think my bag is working its way that way a bit. I'm gonna to have to uh, sort that out when I can be bothered. <laughs> uh, riverbed. It's a bit damp. Um, might have had some rain here in the last week or two, maybe. Don't know. Found my camping spot for the night. Hopefully I won't be disturbed. A bit windy at the moment, but Actually, it has settled down a bit in the last half an hour. Let me show you where we are. And there's the bike. And a uh, little fire pit there. There's a uh, access track up there to the pylons from the top there. And the main road is way down the bottom there. So hopefully I won't be disturbed. It should be fine. As long as you don't get any rain and not too windy, be nice and peaceful. Right. Well, good morning, everybody. I had a very peaceful night, and yes, I'm doing a voiceover for this bit because, well, turns out my GoPro decided to stop recording audio, and I have no idea why. Very, very disappointing, I can tell you. But uh, oh my god! Oh my god, I can't look at my hair. Let's just focus in on that for a second. Oh gee, sorry guys and girls, I, you had to watch that, see that. That's just you know, bleach for your eyes, bleach for your eyes. Um, yeah, I slept well, all went well, and uh, now we've got to get packed up and get moving on. Oh, what am I doing now? I, I can't remember what I was talking about, but I was. that's clearly a didgeridoo thing on the bike. And uh, yeah, that's a bit of frame. Uh, no idea what I'm talking about. Um, oh no, playing the drums, playing the drums on the bike. Clearly, oh now I'm packing away, now I'm definitely packing away. And uh, oh, this uh, is the route out. Oh, oh, I'm stuck again. Oh, this happened a lot, it really did. Come on, come on, that's it, that's it. show you where I camped last night. Over there, there's a, you can probably see right in the distance there, the pylon just up on the hill. It's just below that I was. Yeah, so I've done all right. It's only taken me about 10 minutes to get there, but come up all up through the valley. What a great day. Right, so now we've got to go up that way, there.
one is ignoring the bibs now. I'm sitting oh, here bibby. Oh. How the hell do you keep like would you believe it? I bumped into the lads again and a perfect opportunity to stop for some lunch. Great little village this, proper locals, proper local food and super cheap as well. So it was good to have a rest before we uh, cracked on to what was going to be one of the most exciting sections so far. Although we did get a, a little lost, we seem to have missed our turning. We soon had it figured out though. We break up, we slam the door. I messed up on the bedroom floor. What the hell do we do this for? I push you up, but you come back. That attraction, I can't fight that. a brilliant day's riding like I say a bit of off-road a bit of mountain passes best so far for me and decided to treat myself met up with the lads as you saw and we've got a place with a pool and I thought you know when you're really hot and sweaty there's nothing like quite just jumping in the cold pool truth is I've actually already done it and the camera wasn't set right so we're gonna have to pretend that I haven't done it yet and I'm gonna run in jump in I'm gonna squirm like a little baby baby I tell you because it's bloody cold right you ready there's the pool. Here's me. I'm going in. Big jump, big jump. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> Right, well, you got to go past the donkey. <laughs> <laughs> 